Ahoy, this is Zdenka. I'm in Ontario, Canada, um, in one of my favorite local parks. I needed to get outdoors so bad. And here on the YouTube, I already shot quite a few B-roll sequences, for example, like this one. And few of you asked me if I can share how I am planning all those shots and transitions for B-roll. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you on a journey with me, how I am filming a very short cinematic sequence of this location. And obviously I'm gonna share you how I am actually planning all those shots and all those transition. Simply, I'm gonna show you all the stuff behind the scenes. So now that I made it all the way up to the stairs, I'm gonna start filming. I'm gonna be shooting here first just because it's the darkest area and I want to make sure I don't run out of light. It's not way too, too dark here. The first selection I'm going with the 24 to 105 millimeters lens because I want to get a wide shot of those staircase. I might switch to other lenses, but right now I'm gonna stick around with the wide lens. and then panning sideways. First of all, I am an old school. So paper and pencil does the trick for me. Whenever I'm planning to shoot the next B-roll, all I'm always wondering first is what exactly I want to shoot and then what camera and lenses, what gear I'm gonna be using. Today's topic is this place, Hebrew Down. I know this place very well. I've been coming here for years and I don't think I've been here since spring. So I really don't know how it's gonna look like right now. It's beginning of September. So my task today is capture this place in the current season, the way it looks. Another shot is literally here because this area is just, it's a must to shoot. I'm gonna try to do the same wide angle shot with the same lens, 24 to 105 millimeters. And I'm gonna try to shoot through some waves here. Next, I usually plan what equipment I want to use. And today I brought with me Canon M6 Mark II and Viltrox Speed Booster because I want to use few EF lenses with it. One lens I have here is the Nifty 50 50 millimeters lens. The next one is 24 to 105 millimeters. And the third one would be the Telephoto 70 to 200 millimeters. I want to get different depths. I want to shoot some close-ups, some stuff far away some medium shots and all those lenses will give me different results. So if I would be filming a city right now and I had my car parked somewhere close by, then I would definitely bring gimbal with me. But because I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of hiking today, I wanted to keep my gear very limited. So I'm gonna be shooting pretty much everything handheld. I'll take advantage of the uh, digital IS on this camera and lenses. I will be mostly filming in 60 frames per second, some of the shots of water, plants and animals, if I see any, in 120 frames per second. I'm also planning on taking some photos here and there on those locations. So that will be my first list of all the gear I'm gonna be using for the B-roll. So now I know my possibilities, but also my limitations. Another spot is here and I'm on the other side of this little lake and um, what I like to do is obviously shoot through a lot of plants because the foreground is giving me nice bokeh and 
All I'm doing is just getting the background shots. I'm gonna try to go close to the water. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not gonna fall into the water. And um, we'll see how muddy it is. Not so bad. So I'm gonna go very close to the water to shoot. This area still looks quite nice. So I'm just gonna keep going and Take the advantage of this to hopefully, hopefully stabilize it a little bit more. Next step would be the shot list. I'm gonna be filming at three main areas. One is the river, then we have the lake, and also the very large staircase, which looks really nice. So I'm gonna be shooting all over the place. I'm not gonna be limiting myself only to one location. So the B-roll will be shot of, it's gonna be a mix of different shots. Pretty much, again, to capture the season the way it looks like right now. So the shot list is gonna start with the opening sequence. Now I have two choices here. I can kind of keep it as a little tease and then the big reveal. So I could do close-up shots of different plants and different insects and maybe animals and then just do a very nice shot opening the whole location. Or I could do just kind of like a pull-in shot right away on the big location and then do the huge reveal. I think I'm gonna go for option number one. Yeah, the tease and the reveal. So the shots will follow for each location. Wide shots, medium shots, close-up shots with the telephoto lens, and then extreme close-up shots um, of the plants and some insects. So again, I'm still shooting with the 50 millimeters lens. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of plants now. That's my plan to do very close-ups of plants. And uh, as I mentioned before, the transitions here, I'm gonna go into the color. So hopefully that can help me in post once I'm gonna be editing the video. And since there is a lot of movement, I'm gonna let it go on its own. Always making sure I get a little bit of the sun shining through. The aperture I'm selecting right now is f2.8 and it's with the Voltrox Speed Booster. And I'm taking advantage of the foreground and the background. So what I'm doing right now, I'm panning very slowly to the side and because I'm focusing on the background, the foreground is nice and blurry, really nice shot with 50 millimeter lens. So let me try to capture the bee as it's working. And back up a little bit. As you can see, the shot list is quite simple and it's very straightforward because I'm shooting outdoors. If I will be filming indoors, I will be filming a food bureau, for example, or food commercial, stuff like that, then I would have controlled lighting and I would know exactly what I want to do. I could plan exactly the transitions and all the shots. Because I'm here outdoors, I really don't know what's ahead of me. I don't know what kind of light situation I'm going to be dealing with, which way the sun is going to go on those locations. I have to keep my mind open. I have to be ready to film on the spot. So my thing is to go very safe with safe shots and safe transition. Meaning, if I'm shooting, I'm gonna be probably panning most of the time to the right. I'm gonna be maybe going a little bit forward. I'm gonna be going backwards, maybe a little bit up and down. 
but not really. I'm gonna keep it mostly in the same direction so it's not all over the place. For the transitions, I'm planning to do three transitions, kind of safe transitions, what I call. And it's mostly whipping to the side or camera shake with the telephoto lens, or I'm also planning to transition it into the color. And I'm gonna choose two colors, green and brown, to keep it very safe. So if I'm gonna be doing all these transitions in all three different locations, then I have a lot more opportunities to mix it up in a post. And I think all that will be quite enough. It's still gonna be quite short cinematic sequence. And as I was taking you along and I was showing you a little bit behind the scenes how I'm actually filming this whole cinematic sequence, let me take you for some more. I was planning to shoot a different river, but family is still there with kids and I don't wanna bother them. So I settled on this location. It's not as pretty part of the river, but hopefully when I'm done here and I'm coming back, they might be gone. So I'm just gonna do that, but right now, I'm gonna try to get close here and uh, still with the 50 millimeter lens, I'm gonna try, try to do a few shots. Look at that reflection. Can't get any better. And once it is all done, I just place it to Adobe Premiere Pro, which is my current editing software. First, I actually add the music, then I choose clips, put them in the order, start editing on the beats, add the sound effects, and uh, yeah, this is the outcome. If you are interested to see how I filmed the baseball b-roll, I linked the video in the video description. I also added a few other uh, b-roll videos there as well, so you might find it helpful. Also, all the gear I was using in today's video, including my current filming kit, can be found there as well. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe to all future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi, or Ahoy, which is Czech, you can leave it in a comment section below. And I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, Ahoy.